Mr. Claxton, oh, Sean, first of all, what happens? The guy starts here, he <laughs> defends, he goes to the drag, boom, the guy's still facing. Look, what's this right here? Mr. Fisk, what's this? See, well, run away your call. The whole point is, I cannot raise the shoulder here, and I certainly can't turn this way. This is great. So here I'm moving. Look what he's doing. He's already getting me broke down. He hits the mat. He's got the hook. He can go guard, or even if he half guards me, I'm still toast because I can't turn if this guy really gets you in position. Like, for example, if he has me here, right? If he has me here and he triangles my leg or yeah, just locks something here, I can't move. I try to move. If he raises his hand out here and comes under my arm, I'll go under. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh, he's going to kill you right here. But let's stick with the choke right here. He goes, set the choke. One, boom. He's got the angle very slowly. So they can see, look how the choke goes right under the neck here. He's got the wrist under, not go the cheek higher like a lot of people. Like this, huh? Yeah, like here. See, he's got the wrist. The guy's going to move. See, whatever the hand for the choke in no gi. Would you, how many guys watch? How many MMA fights you see in this position more failures than success? Yes, sir. Fair enough? Yes, sir. Well, you see someone like Anderson, <coughs> great champion. What does he do? Works his fundamentals. Good luck. Right. And he doesn't squeeze here. He pulls his arm all the way up. Get this elbow right on the collar region. Because that way you have both pieces cutting into the collar. Here, the guy's turning. <coughs> Done. Forget it. So let's work this. I want to warm this up a little faster if we can. But I want to start with the drag. Start with the drag, go to the tie, seat belt, then to the choke. Go.